Hi everyone, so I wanted to show you how my Homeworks candles look all in one area. If you can see, the majority of my collection are the four wick candles. I do have two of the three wick candles. Some of them are burned, some of them aren't. But the main reason why I wanted to do this is to kind of have an idea how many candles I use up. My plan or my goal is to dwindle down the supply so that at the end of the year, by December 2024, I Hopefully, we'll only have 20 homeworks candles total. So whether I bring some in, if I do that, then I need to burn basically what I bring in. So hopefully it stays at this point because I feel like homeworks candles take a lot of space because they're a lot wider, even though they're not as tall. I have a total of 44 homeworks candles. Two of them are in a three wick option and just, you know, spoiler, I'm not going to purchase that format just because I feel like it hasn't given me the best performance. I do have some rediffusers, but I'm only counting uh, candles, not like, yeah, the rediffusers, which those have been kind of shoddy, but that's besides the point. So I'm going to go over each of the scents that I have. In case you're wondering why some of these have stickers, I'm the type of person that I tend to keep the retail price on unless I'm gifting it to someone because I tend to sometimes return items and then also I, I'm like I paid for it I don't mind there being a sticker price and I feel like that also helps me if I ever do like a candle review to know how much I paid for the candle or I can easily um, tell hey I got this at TJ Maxx I got this at Home Goods, or I got that on QVC or the homework stop shop website or sorry Slack and Encode yeah just to give you more information but let's go over the candles from left to right. I have my duplicates on the left side. Okay, I don't have my tripod, so this might be shaking a little bit. But the first one I have is Fraser Fir Forest. I really love this one because it's like a tree scent, but it's also gourmand at the same time. If you can tell, I got it on sale for, I think that says 10 bucks. So this is going to be a gift. So it's technically in my collection, technically not because... I plan to gift it to my friend in Christmas or during Christmas or Christmas. Yeah, so this is going to be here for basically the end of the year. So this one is counting in my like 20 homeworks candles tops that I can have. Okay, and let's go on to the duplicates. So we have two black magic candles. Ooh, this one's a little bit crooked. It's kind of bothering me. Um, but yeah, now going forward, I'm only going to purchase homeworks candles. At least I'm trying to hold myself accountable that if I find one, unless I really love the scent, I'll purchase it for $16.99, but I'll try to get it for $10 or less, which my stores are pretty good at having them at $10. All right, let's go on to, oh, well, actually this side. So we have two iced tea candles. I really love this candle. I found it during the springtime last year. However, I did notice that when I burned it during the winter time, because I'm not a seasonal burner, my mom just really didn't like it. And I told her that I think it goes better with warmer weather. So hopefully she doesn't have an issue when I burn it uh, when she has the door open because it was really strong. I want to say that despite this, uh, I purchased it at Marshall's for $16.99. You can tell I really liked it. Um, yeah, she just wasn't feeling it. But I told her, I'm like, I burned this during the springtime. So maybe she's secretly a seasonal burner. Okay, and then we have two of the orange creamsicle candles. I really like this one. The only problem is that the performance of these is kind of bad in terms of like you get a lot of fallout. Um, at least the two that I have previously burned, you can tell I like it as well. Um, some of them I purchased it on QVC. Some of them I purchased, you can tell this one, I think it was at Marshalls or something. I've had like leaning wicks. Not really drowning wicks, but just like the wick shifting. So we'll see how the other batches do. Then we have vanilla bean ice cream. I really love this on cold, but it's really light. So I'm burning one of them as of right now. And I kind of regret it because it's really, really light. So there's that. Oh, and then uh, we have the first spun vanilla sugar. I think I also got that at TJ Maxx Marshall. It smells really nice, but I do notice uh, if I try to get a little bit closer... Um, some of the oils are showing up, which you can tell that, uh, I don't think it's bad, but like right here, it's getting like a little bit foggy, but there's actual like brown, what I would assume would be the fragrance oils or the essential oils. So I want to burn that sometime soon. Then we have pink bubblegum. I really like this scent as well. 
it did project like extremely well, but it was light. It was about a three. I need to post my review, but there's that one. But let me move back. Here we have Sunday morning cereal. I believe it came back on the Slack and Co website. I think the design is slightly different. So uh, let me move. I had my anyways. Um, I think that this label is slightly like revamped, but this is the old one from I think 2022 or 2021. I got this on the Slack and Co website. So I think this shouldn't be too outdated. Uh, let me just go over these really quickly. Um, so this one, I believe, is the only hobnail candle that I have in my collection. I got it for TJ Maxx for $16.99. This is lavender, sorry, blueberry lavender cupcake. Um, I also am going to, I don't know if in this video or a separate one, but I'm going to do a My Sister Shops My Homeworks stash so i have a feeling that if i do film that she's going to get this one because she was with me and we both really enjoyed that scent then we have two berry trifles i actually got four of these because i love the scent this is one of my favorite homeworks candle scents along with the iced tea le lemonade iced tea no sorry iced tea not lemonade that makes sense because there's hardly any lemonade in that candle um but berry trifle the format just isn't good I now purchased a candle curls. Woo! Too bad that these don't fit. But um, yeah, it was really light. I want to say it was like a two. It burned really nice here. Um, is it this one? Yeah. So as you can tell, I've already warmed it. But yeah, it wasn't a getting discolored or anything. But it just wasn't. It just wasn't it. So that's one of the main reasons why I am trying to dwindle down my homework supply because I love the scents, but it sometimes it just doesn't translate, and that's a shame. So I'm going to move over here. All right. Then we have Christmas Cappuccino. I got this in the after Christmas sale. So I believe I got it for $8.50, which I think is the price point I'm going to try to stick to going forward and or $10. Um, so yeah, there's Christmas Cappuccino. Then we have Lemoncello Cupcake. Super excited to try that out as well. Then we have Farm Stand Blueberry. I saw that they had a duo pack on, on QVC for farm stand blueberry, but I like I told myself now I'm buying too much. Let me stop myself. But I really love blueberry scents. Then we have berry snow cone. I believe that's just a blue raspberry scent. Um, I sugar cookie. This is the only one that I purchased at Ulta, I believe, last year. So I feel like you know how some people believe that uh, homework candles, if you let them sit for a while that they get stronger. Well, basically all of these have been in my collection for at least, if you just look at the manufacturer or the pour date, they've all been here for like a year. <laughs> like for example, the ones that have been here the longer or the longest is maybe like this one. I want to say this one, the pour date is 2021 or it should be 2021. Oh no, 2022. But yeah, no, they've just been sitting in my collection and it's not that I intentionally try to do this it's just i have so many candles and i'm really slow at burning <laughs> then we have snow tipped pine so tree outdoorsy scents aren't really for me but i got this because it was on sale for 850 so <laughs> there's that then we have caramel apple spice tea i'm surprised i got this because i don't really care for apple scents but i think it was during a time where my tj maxx or marshall's didn't have a lot of homeworks candles so i was enticed to Ooh, to purchase this then we have a uh, cherry lime slushy i like this because it reminded me of the cherry limeade body care that came out uh, at bath and body works for like a hot minute orchard nectar again this smells a lot like apple i'm not sure why i got it but you know it's here then we have toasted vanilla cupcake this one smells light but i remember someone commented on the video where I hauled this, that it's actually a good performer. So we'll see about that. Oh, this one I'm super excited to burn it. Peach upside down cake. Super delicious. I think this was the only one at my store. Then we have ooh, a triple berry pie. This one also smells really nice. It reminds me a lot of the uh, berry trifle, but I think this one still reigns supreme, at least in my opinion. Uh, let's go over here. Cozy knit blanket. This one's very like almost like a warm cashmere scent. And if you can't tell, I think I'm speaking mostly for scents on cold. Oh my gosh, I think I completely skipped 
uh, yeah, I completely skipped this row. Wait, I already talked about toasted vanilla cupcake. I already talked about orchard nectar. Talked about that. It looks a little different on the on the phone. Okay, red fruit punch. I believe this is just like your what is it like fruit punch type of a scent? Yeah, I don't know if it's giving like Capri Sun or if it's giving like high school reunion or what. Banana daiquiri. I'm not fond of banana scents, but I think it smells really strong, and I I can appreciate a strong scented candle. Then we have blackberry tres leches. Uh, this is a backup. I already burned one of these, and while I don't like tres leches, uh, normally I would have this with or during parties, but it typically never has blackberries. It typically always has strawberries. So there's that. Um, that's all to say that it was decently strong and I wanted to burn it again. Snowy sleigh ride. Again, I'm not really into outdoorsy scents. Okay, okay, we're back on track. Cozy knit blanket. Then we have Berry Trifle. I purchased this one on the Slack & Co. formerly Homework Stop Shop website, so hopefully this one performs pretty decently strong. Then we have Strawberry Milkshake. Oh my gosh, this one smells delicious. And my sister... Um, if she does shop my stash, I think she's going to get this one because I've already burned this two, twice or one time previously. No, I think I got a backup of this, so this might be my third and last one. Yeah, she really enjoyed it. She would always compliment me, and it, it did get strong, but I think I want to say, since this was on the QVC website, that it had a 2021 pour day. Let's see. Yeah, it says F21, so it was poor December 11, 2021. So I don't know, maybe it did get stronger, maybe it didn't, or maybe this poor date is just decent. Then we have fresh cotton clouds, it just smells like clean laundry. Peanut butter waffle cone, really like this one as well. Um, it's super authentic, but uh, if you just kind of like... <laughs> there we go like peanut like cracked peanuts um, you know what i take back it's not authentic i don't get any like bit of a waffle cone in here i just get cracked peanuts um root beer flow uh the bath and body works root beer candle as well as their uh bubble gum or gumballs candle came out so we'll see how it compares to this one when i go and burn it then we have berry pumpkin waffles. I mainly got this at $13 at Home Goods because people said that this one is like a fan favorite. Uh, okay, blueberry cheesecake. So this is the oldest one and the only other one in my collection. I decluttered another one. Let's see, I got this at Marshall. So we'll see how it goes because the one that I reviewed and burned just wasn't strong at all, which was kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully this one's stronger. It's been sitting in my collection a little bit longer. Then we have Island Citrus Guava, Super Tropical. Okay, this congrats candle. My my friend is in grad school, so I'm hoping whenever she graduates, you know, fingers crossed, that I'm going to give this to her as a gift. So this is that same friend that I'm planning to gift the Fraser Fir Forest. Finally, we have Kiwi Margarita. Okay, I can't really get all my candles in the frame, but there are all of my 44 Homeworks candles. I'm really excited to dwindle down the supply because initially the IKEA bookshelf that I got was supposed to be exclusively for my Bath & Body Works candles um, because I tend to favor those a little bit more. So yeah, I think I might go ahead, call my sister, and have her shop my stash. Um, this video is a little bit long, so I'm going to save that for the following video. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if you were to ask me if I recommend Homeworks candles, I really do because I think Harry Slacken is a person who just does really well executed gourmands. The performance of the candles aren't really, I don't know, it's because you have like, uh, like misses and then another miss and then you hit like this one candle that's your favorite like top 10 of all time. And then you just get a bunch of duds after that. So it's a little bit hard to recommend, but I would say if you do, try to get them, of course, on sale. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. And hopefully by December 2024, this collection will be a lot smaller. So this video is like an updated collection as well as uh, holding myself accountable for 
the size of this collection because I really don't want to expand or go any further than this. Definitely well under 50 candles. So yeah, have a great day. Okay, bye.